Hey, good morning and a warm welcome everyone to the Digital Skills Funding and Training Opportunities event, which is part of the East Suffolk Business Festival 2022. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. And we're joined by our event partner, Suffolk County Council, and we have Nicola Jenner, who is the Skills and Employment Policy Officer with us today. But before I hand over to Nicola, I just would like to introduce you to the annual East Suffolk Business Festival, which is really an opportunity for businesses to learn something new, find out what's happening in their local area and how they can get involved and find out how to access those local support programmes. For 2022, the theme that we decided upon was all things digital and the event will include the launch of the new digital business support programs, digital tech demos, information on local digital projects, and a wide range of workshops, webinars, and learning seminars. All events are being held online to enable local businesses to access the support and information they need more conveniently so you can just pop in during the working day. Uh, recorded events, podcasts, and pre-recorded webinars will be also available throughout the two-week period and beyond at our website, which is East Suffolk means business.co.uk. This is just one of many events that we've scheduled. So to find out about other events taking place, please do visit that website at East Suffolk means business. And please note that today's event is being recorded. So you will be able to watch it back later via our website. If you would like to ask a question throughout today's event, please either submit a question via the Q&A button at the bottom of your screens or add a question to the chat but please do ensure that this is to all attendees so that it does not get missed. At the end of the event, there will also be a short poll and that's just to help us shape future events and activities that we would organize in future business festivals. Um, but without going any further, I would now like to hand over to Nicola from Suffolk County Council. Thanks, Nicola. Hi, thanks, James. That's lovely. And thank you for inviting me to be part of the East Suffolk Digital Business Festival. It's um, it's <clears throat> very timely, really, for us in Suffolk County Council. Um, I work as part of the skills team, as James mentioned. Um, and I lead on digital skills, enterprise skills and sport and physical activity sector skills. Um, so I've come today to talk to you all about all of the digital uh, skills funding and training opportunities that are available. Um, it's really something that's changing uh, significantly at the moment. There's been a lot of investment put into um, skills funding from national government. And so our aim in the skills team really is to develop a relationship with all of our funding partners, um, with employers, and to maximise the conversation that we have um, regarding national policy, national funding changes and national training opportunities, as well as local and regional policies. Um, so I'm going to talk through a few of the opportunities today. There's quite a lot in this presentation, which will obviously be available to you all um, after the festival. Um, but I've also left my email address at the end if you have any questions or follow up that you would like to um, get back to me on. And that would be really helpful, actually, for me as well. So. Um, I just want to tell you a little bit about the skills team, um, the team that I work in at Suffolk County Council, so that you're aware of all of the different aspects of skills um, and all of the different opportunities that are available to businesses across Suffolk. Um, and then I'll go into a little bit more detail about the different funds and training opportunities that, that you as a business can access. So I'm part of the uh, skills for growth team. And we aim to enable inclusive growth in Suffolk by ensuring that um, people can access skills and employment opportunities across Suffolk, um, that we can develop skills and that we can ensure that people have access to any opportunity to enable them to develop productivity and develop skills and make sure that they have the right skills for our business needs. The other parts of the team includes the post 16 team um, and they work very closely with schools um, they run the youth employment and participation strategy um, and they offer careers advice um, they work with with further education providers to ensure that our more vulnerable um, and SEN residents have access to opportunities and they also work with apprenticeships Suffolk very closely 
Our interwork team um, is a team that you may well have come across if you operate in Suffolk, and they, off, they um, operate the Youth Pledge for Employers scheme, which allows employers to access work experience opportunities um, to, to link in with our young people across Suffolk. They also operate the Work Well Suffolk team, helping our vulnerable residents um, back into work and our adult learning service. <clears throat> Our work inspiration team work closely with the local enterprise partnership um, and they operate with the enterprise advisor network, which some of you may have heard of. They run the I can be a um, service with the Mason Trust and they also operate the Suffolk and Norfolk skills shows. So there is a lot of work going on in the team and lots of opportunities for businesses to engage with us. As I said, I'm going to stick um, on digital today, but mainly talking about some of the opportunities and training that are available. So in terms of digital, uh, I work with the digital skills task force across New Anglia. So that's working with the local enterprise partnership and Norfolk County Council to make sure we're offering the right kind of training and the right kind of funding for our businesses to flourish. Our key strands um, within our digital skills programme are to ensure that we're linking um, our higher and further education providers with employers to make sure that the needs um, of employers are fulfilled by training being offered. We try to track digital demand within the industry to make sure that we can support the skills across all of the industry. Um, so we do that really by just trying to make sure that our, that our policy is tailored to meet the needs of business. You may have heard of boot camps, skills boot camps coming in from national government. So we are trying to work with our local employers to make sure that those boot camps are tailored specifically for the needs of New Anglia. We work across all of the councils to try to increase digital inclusion. Um, so we've helped to ensure that um, Laptops have been available over the um, over the pandemic. We work to try to represent groups that may be underrepresented, and we also work with community leaders to try to maximise the the <clears throat> excuse me the digital capacity across Suffolk. A part of my work is cross sectoral work, so I also feed into, as I said, enterprise work and um, sport and physical activity sector skills, but. We work across advanced manufacturing, agri-tech um, and energy sectors to ensure that the skills needs that they have also link in to the digital skills needs that we're aware of too. Some of the key things that we have worked on, and these are particularly tailored for East Suffolk, and um, so these are opportunities that are available in East Suffolk that we've worked with or funded. So we work with um, a, a training scheme called the Scion scheme, which tailors um, web development and software development training for local um, residents who may be looking for employment. So those specifically who might be referred through the DWP or through universities to have some real work ready skills developed. Um, and that currently is on offer across East Suffolk and Suffolk. Um, I'm going to mention the digital boot camps later, but we've also supported Game Anglia with their Level Up programme, which I know is also available in um, East Suffolk. And our Youth Pledge for Employers, we have uh, business connectors working specifically with East Suffolk. And the East Suffolk team in employment, um, sorry, in economic development will be able to give you links to those um, if you can't find them, um, or you can let me know. Um, we also support, as I said, the I can be a with a digital portal. So if you're looking for young people to come into the industry, there's a specific um, work participation website called I can be a where you can offer opportunities into the digital sector. And we're currently developing a STEM ambassador program um, with, priori with priority areas across East Suffolk with the STEM ambassador program, which is a national program and a new coordinator for Suffolk and East Suffolk. So these are all opportunities that, that we are promoting at the moment. Um, we're hoping to be able to promote these through a specific digital website um, through Suffolk County Council, and that should be coming to you um, towards the end of the summer. 
But all of these opportunities are, are opportunities that I can tell you about. And my email, as I said, is at the end of the presentation. So some key funding and training opportunities, I guess, are the, the opportunities that, that are going to be most interesting today. Um, and we've got quite a lot going on, as I said. So the National Skills Fund, um, promoted by the government, is um, offering training at level three and above, which is basically A level, so relatively high level of skills um, across across several sectors, but specifically across digital training. Um, and we've been tailoring that offer, which will hopefully be ready to come out in June with some training offers that will be fully funded for individuals and part funded for business. So I'm going to talk about specifically digital boot camps, but we've also got funding um, which, which links in for digital companies, but also across other sectoral areas, which I'll mention too, um, and include supply chain tailored um, funding and also funding for over 50s to have work placements. So if you have any questions to put into the chat, do feel free because um, there's a lot of information on these and I'm gonna try to summarize it quite, quite briefly. Um, as I said, the presentation will be available to you. So the boot camps are relatively high level of training. Uh, they're intensive courses that last for a minimum of 60 hours and a maximum of 60 week, 16 weeks. These have been offered, um, funded by national government to give people the opportunity to feed into some key sector areas that, that are struggling to, to find um, employees at the moment. The courses are free for unemployed um, individuals who want to develop their skills in specific areas, um, but they are actually now going to be 10% funded for employers um, if you're an SME. So the offer, um, sorry, 90% funded for employers, so with a 10% contribution from the employers. So the offer for SMEs has been improved um, to help to, to build some of the key target areas. The, the areas that we're looking at offering boot camps specifically in Suffolk and Norfolk are going to be digital uh, sector skills, technical sector skills, including welding, construction, including bricklaying, um, logistics into the future, and um, also green skills. So there's quite a wide offer. The digital skills um, coverage is going to be around web and software development and digital marketing initially with a view to opening up that offer <clears throat> as the cohorts go through. But we're looking to take on the first cohort in, in the New Anglia boot camps um, in, in June of this year. There is a current offer. Um, it's not a local offer. It's provided more by national training um, providers. But if you are interested in boot camps for your employees to help them upskill, there's a list of boot camps available um, on the link, which is shown on the page um, as, as the gov.co.uk link. Um, other free level three qualifications are available. Um, these are less vocational and they are available through our local FE um, providers. And again, the National Career Service has a link through the gov.uk website and you can find any information on those, which again are free to individuals, but also if you have any employees who may be looking to upskill in, in a less vocational way, those are available free of charge. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another skill, another fund that, that may well be um, applicable for local businesses is the Supply Chain Skills Development Fund. This is um, a Suffolk and Norfolk based fund. It's open to SMEs across New Anglia who employ fewer than 250 employees. It's a European Union um, ESF funded programme and it will run um, up until June 2023. This uh, fund has been put in place specifically to help support some of the large infrastructure projects that we can see coming online and a lot of those are based in East Suffolk. So we aim to offer training um, to support organisations and, and it can be across any um, 
opportunity as long as it supports a, a, a business who operates in a major infrastructure chain. So it can cover digital training, it can cover marketing, it can cover leadership, it can cover very specific transport training, it can cover redevelopment training, as long as you are an organisation who works in that supply chain. <clears throat> the information for that is available at the moment on social media, but there is um, a dedicated um, email link to the supply chain information at Suffolk uh, County Council, which is which is shown on the screen. Um, it's a big project. We're hoping to support over a thousand employees across Norfolk and Suffolk. And the training grant is um, an offer of up to a thousand pounds, as I said, for any kind of training that can support your organization in the supply chain. There is a, an, employee, an employer contribution of 50%, um, but you can look at other types of funding pots to help you gain that match. So it's a really nice offer for any business that's looking to support some of those infrastructure projects, which may include, um, for example, size well into the future, but certainly some of the large building projects which we can see happening right now the Goldwing Bridge, for example, up in Lowestoft might be something that could take opportunity that, that um, employers who, who are part of that chain could look at this opportunity. Another fund which has been um, part funded by us at Suffolk County Council and also part funded by the European Union through the European Social Fund are, um, is the Pathways Fund. It's actually called the Spark Fund. Um, because there's a coordination network, including lots of local stakeholders to ensure that this fund is, is offering what people really want. So we have got sector groups input on this one. We've got the local enterprise partnership groups input on this one. Um, and we've got lots of local providers on board with this fund. Um, <clears throat> there are two parts of this fund. So what we're looking to do is to support SMEs to buy training on any um, again, any area that, that really they feel that they need some help with at the moment, particularly digital uh, leadership and management and customer services. But there is a flexible pot arising from the COVID need. We've seen lots of companies need a little bit of support with getting employees back up to speed as they come back into offices and back into buildings. Um, so this is a really flexible fund for anyone over the age of 18. Um, there is up to 75% of the cost um, of any training that you might need for your employees is covered up to a maximum of £500 per employee, but you can have up to six employees take part in that training. So actually you can access around £3,000 for any training that you feel you might need coming back from COVID or developing into the future in some of those key areas like leadership and management, health and wellbeing and digital. And again, we aim to, <coughs> excuse me, target around 860 participants in SMEs across Suffolk. Um, so this, this fund is hopefully going to be ready in around May of this year for people to access. But if you want information on that, it's currently available um, via me, <coughs> excuse me, or via uh, the email spark, S-P-A-R-C, at suffolk.gov.uk. The other side of the SPARC programme is a Pathways 50 Plus programme, um, which offers placements for any participants aged 50 or over. We're very aware that this group of people over the pandemic were much more likely to leave work and not necessarily return straight away. Um, so it's an area of um, of demographic that we are really hoping that that would be happy to try new skills and to move into new areas of employment. And we are really happy to support that with a 50% payment towards their salary um, for any placement that would, that would cover a minimum of 25 hours per week. We're hoping to, to fund around 120 to 146 placements. Um, with over 550 beneficiaries across Suffolk. And again, this is targeted specifically to SMEs who are looking to expand their workforce and offer opportunities for some of those older workers who may have skills um, that are relevant, but not specific to your particular business. 
Other funds that are available um, that I will mention, although they're not specifically Suffolk County Council funds, um, <clears throat> excuse me, include skill support for workforce. So we're aware over COVID that some businesses have struggled. And if you're looking to make any of your workforce redundant, but want to support them to move into a new role, this would be uh, an appropriate fund for you. So this funding can offer training across lots of different needs, digital, marketing, health and social care, health and well-being, um, leadership and management. And it, <coughs> excuse me, it's run by Steadfast Training who will undertake a company needs analysis and then offer that training to any employees that you feel may be looking to move on through redundancy. This is fully funded training, so it can really support any businesses that are, that are looking to change their structure post-COVID. The contact information is on the screen, um, as is all of the contact information for all of the funds. Um, again, but you can email me if you want some more information about that one. And finally, <coughs> lots of information in this, I'm afraid. Finally, we come to the ISET uh, training scheme, which is offered by the University of Suffolk. And again, is part funded by the European Social Fund. It's a higher level of training and it's focused specifically on digital training and management training. So these courses are um, for people who are already in work and maybe managing your workforce or are looking at management, particularly within digital project management. It covers um, specific targeted areas of leadership for women, leadership for directors, um, data and analytics and project and product management, as well as a bit of digital marketing. The contact is on there. It, it is a part funded course. Um, these courses generally would be quite expensive. So this is a really nice opportunity if you're looking at upskilling some of your managers or higher trained staff um, in some of these key areas. <clears throat> Excuse me. So a very quick whistle stop tour of some of the funding available there. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. I'm also happy for people to contact me in the future if they'd like a bit more information about any of those funds. I am conscious that I went through them very quickly and there's quite a lot involved in some of these funds, but hopefully I've given you the essence of some of the opportunities and funding available for businesses that operate in the digital sector across East Suffolk. Great. Thank you, Nicola. That was um, really informative and certainly gave us a really good overview of those specific funds as well. Um, we just move straight into Q&As before we do the poll. Um, so there is one question that does come from our audience today. So um, I'll just read it out. So it says, I can the pathways 50 plus be retrospective. I just took on a 50 plus employee and she started on 1st of February 2022. Would the grants be still available for my company? Gosh, um, because it's a placement and because the placement would generally have been tailored um, using the fund, I'm not 100% sure on that one, if I'm honest. Um, we have got a coordinator for the Pathways 50 Plus fund. Um, so can I ask if you, um, can I, James, can I put my email address in the chat or, or, or is it okay to have yeah, it absolutely. and then and then if you would like to follow that up with me I can put you in touch with the coordinator to look at how we might do that we are looking to be very flexible with it um unfortunately because the administrator um of the the training provider hasn't been in post there's still a few little tweaks for that fund. So it may well be a bit difficult to do, but it's certainly something, as I said, that we're trying to be as flexible as possible with. So if you can email me, I'll find out a little bit more about that um, and we can take that conversation forward. Great. Thanks, Nicola. And then I suppose just more comment than a question um, from like an economic development point of view, we, we've all seen the headlines that vacancies are rising it's, it's a national issue at the moment and recruitment is a key issue for more and more industries so so i guess given all the funds and training support that's available i wonder whether we could just kind of why it's important for businesses to be seriously looking at these these training opportunities and funding opportunities such as the boot camps and the pathway training 
I mean, obviously, we're we're looking at shortages in specific sexual areas. Um, lots of the funds have been targeted towards those specific sexual areas. But what we've noticed, particularly with digital skills, is that there's a really broad offer at the moment. Um, there's a lot of funding coming through from national government to support skills, and we're trying to make the offer in Suffolk as easy to access as possible for businesses, because we're aware that, you know, businesses are still coming out of that uncertain period that they, you know, may need a little bit of support, not just with funding, but also with guidance for employing new people or training new people and finding exactly the right training course for their employees to move forward and to, to benefit from growth as it comes through. So we're really trying to, to make the offer as simple and straightforward as possible. Um, we work with the Growth Hub, um, which is part of the Local Enterprise Partnership, to try to streamline the offer. But one of the reasons that I came today was just to, to try to simplify it and to try to, you know, just pick out some of the key issues that, that the funds are going to target, just so that it makes it easier. We're, you know, we're aware that businesses are really stretched, but that some of them are looking at growth and that, that we want to support them as much as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Completely can concur. And, you know, we, we do operate in a similar sort of field. I think it's, it's always good that we're always joined up and, you know, presenting that offer to local businesses as clearly as possible. Um, so thank you for joining the Suffolk Business Festival today. Um, Kate, could you just add the poll for our participants to complete for me, please? So for those who are in the audience, there will just be a short poll that you'll see coming on your screen just to give us a bit of information on how you found today's uh, session and that will help us to essentially determine the sort of events that we should put online going forward and whether they'd be better face to face and what they should be about and um, so if you wouldn't mind just spending 30 seconds or so completing that that would be uh, absolutely fantastic and uh, yeah, once again thank you Nicola for just taking the time to speak with us today and to our audience who I hope found it useful and um, I certainly did uh, I think there's a lot of funding pots now that I can go away and when I do speak to businesses I'll be like oh do you know about this one um, which I think is the whole point isn't it so uh, yeah thank you thank you so much for having me and honestly I'm, I'm more than happy to you know spend time with any with anyone explaining the offer that's there because we do want to maximize it you know and and, and make the most of it so thanks so much for having me thank you okay and we've had all our audience members complete the poll so um, I think that is a wrap on the questions I'm just double checking and make sure we've answered everything but yeah I think we're there so thank you once again Nicola and to the audience and Kay as well uh, enjoy the rest of your day thank you